Hello everybody, welcome. Um, hopefully that uh, solves that issue. I think we are live now, looks like it anyway. Um, so, a bit different than our usual game today. Um, so today I'm gonna be playing Stardew Valley. Uh, I have to, hello Titan, how are you? Um, I have to admit I played it like a tiny little bit, but basically I'm a newbie, so we'll just play this and see how it goes. Good, how's your weekend going so far? First things first, I'm gonna change these controls because they drive me crazy, how they are. So, um, just uh, don't mind me. Is that better? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a little bit different of a setup to have, um, you know, to be playing this versus my Switch. So I'm playing this on the PC. Uh, it's probably an important thing I should throw out there. But, okay. This is day one. We're leaving my house. Let's go. Now, I've only ever done like a very short t little tutorial of the standard farm, and this time we're doing a forest farm. And by like short tutorial, I mean, um, <laughs> I mean that I've only gotten to like day seven or so. So, like, and uh, so there's still quite a bit, uh, that I have to learn about this game, I would imagine. Um, but, so, just day one, this is my farm. Um, I still got my full energy, so I'm going to, let's see. I'll probably just start to clear out this right in front of my house a little bit. Because I'm not sure where else that I'm going to, um, I'm going to plant anything. Because... <laughs> Uh, I have no idea about this map or anything. I'm just playing this completely blindly. So. So here I'm just using my tools to uh, clean out this area a little bit. And then I got my hoe. <laughs> and then I'll use my hoe to clear up some land here to plant my parsnips and it'd probably be beneficial for me to just like hoe it all out all at once I guess but we'll try this and again this map is completely different than the ones that I've played thus far and I've only played I just played the standard one very briefly so um I want to call this a blind playthrough even though it just, like, I've got a hang of the controls a little bit, but, you know, other than that, I'm, um, not quite sure what I'm doing, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so we have planted some crops already. I think that might be the first thing that you should do. I'm really not sure, to be honest. <laughs> What you should do first, I'm really not qualified to be giving advice quite yet on what you should and should not do in this game. Um, I know I'm wasting a lot of my water by uh, watering things multiple times, so I've got to get used to these controls versus the ones in, um, in Animal Crossing, and that's a whole different subject, so. But. First things first, I want to go out to town. This is day one. I would like to go out to town and see what is up. Um, so I'm looking up here. Looks like we got a flower. 
Hello. OSO, how are you? What's up? Happy Saturday. How's your weekend going? So this is like day one. I still have to meet everybody. So. I know there's like something in this game about like being single and I don't even know, but I'm great. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm not doing too much. My little sister was just visiting, so that's, you know, a positive. But, um, just playing my newest game. Normally I'd be playing Animal Crossing, but I was feeling a bit risky today. Risky? I don't know if that's the right word. I just met Pamela. Or, no, Emily? Emily. Um, so one of the very first things that we need to do is meet all the people. So that's why, what I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to walk around and see who's home. So here we got Vincent. Hello, Mr. Cleaner. Um, yeah, so this is obviously it's a, <laughs> oh, don't worry. You know, I'll get back to ACNH. It's only a matter of time. Um. It's pretty popular, like, on stream, I guess. I, or on Steam, not stream, Steam. I just downloaded it, though, just to get this game. Um, because I've heard such good things about it. So, now I've got it, and we're gonna try it out. Uh, but, like I said, one of the first things is trying, I think is, I think, I think, trying to, um, this is still day one trying to exploring explore the town um like kind of the map meet people here we just met leah and then who's this caroline yes i am the new farmer it could seem oh okay so we can get some seeds um Let's see, I'm gonna get a few potato seeds. I shouldn't be spending my money like this right off the bat, but why not, right? Cauliflower takes a long time to grow, but it's worth it. From what I've heard. And that's all I know. Okay, so, um... We're out of there. Let's see. We can go into here, see if we can meet anybody. This is the doctor's office. No one's there. Yeah, those are really cute emotes. I'm always checking out other emotes because, like, um... I've seen such cute ones, and I, you know, I try, obviously I'm not going to steal other people's ideas, but, man, some of them are just so cute. I wish I had any artistic ability whatsoever. I really do. So we just met Jody. Let's see who this is. Evelyn. You can call me Granny. Alrighty, we will. Okay. Oh, we went in here already. Um, actually, I forget. We're still on day one, so we still should continue to try to explore the map a bit. So let's go down here. I've already managed to spend all of my money, even though it's only day one. So that's pretty impressive. Got a shell. Got two shells. Oh. Hello. 
Oh, who are you? Elliot. Elliot with the fabulous hair. Okay, cool. Uh, Titan, that's a great question. So what I've gathered so far is that we, um... Oh. We, uh... We're making a farm. Um, again, the farthest I've gotten is a couple days in. And I just restarted this for the sake of the stream. But, um... So far, what I know is that we make a farm, we try to gather resources, and, um... I think that there's a lot of hidden secrets that I've ran into so far, just even in my short, like, little time playing. So, uh... Whoa. Let's go this way. So, um, I think I'll discover more about what this game is about. But I have avoided, like, trying to read about this game online and stuff because I'm trying to do, like, more of a blind, like, reactionary playthrough type of thing. Only Leah's friends can enter. Hmm, I see. Cheers, my friend. Hello. Yeah, I'm that new farmer girl, turns out. Let's go see what's up down here. Okay, so we've got some weird bridges. Wow. Oh, there we go. Whoa, I just hit the jackpot. Okay. Hold up, hold up. I wonder, I need more wood. Can I cut wood down over here? I can? Okay, so, all those little things that just found on the ground, those are all vegetables. I did not hear it, but I just fixed my, um, I just fixed the, The volume so I I think it should work now I'm not quite sure why it didn't work the first time sorry guys oh no I'll I'll uh, I'll redeem your points. Don't worry. Wow. Why is it still not playing? Okay, there we go. Let's try it. Let's try this one more time. Oh, well, it's on cooldown. We'll try it again in, like, just a few seconds. Okay, so, like I was saying, my inventory's full. But if I can really quickly craft... I'm not sure if I can do it here. But I need to craft a stool of some... Or a chest. And I've got the recipe already. Sad violin works. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Wow. 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 There we go. And actually, now that I'm at it, I think I can fix this a little bit. That way there's still noise, but not so much that everybody's like, ah, oh, no. I, well, I've been an IT expert all along. I don't know where you've been, Mr. Cleaner. Just kidding. No, I have, that has never been I. Turns out. 
Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, so I made a chest. I don't even know if I can use this, like, anywhere. I can, that's so weird. This isn't even my farm. But I guess I can use this here. Which is really awesome because that means I can just pick up all this stuff. And then I can go over to here and go bada bing. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. And I'll grab the rest of this stuff and then I can just pick up the chest and take that with me. That is innovation right there. There's more sap over here, and more sap over here. So I thought sap might be kind of useless, but then I realized after like a couple days that you need it to craft certain things, so. And then also to get this back in your inventory, you like hit it with something. Or maybe I can't do that. Maybe I have to leave it here forever. Everything else, though, you can hit with your inven or hit with your um, tool, and it'll go uh, back into your pockets. I don't know why it won't let me pick this up. I told you guys I am new at this game still. So look at it's taking energy for me to do this. However, ooh. All right, but it is now 9 p.m. on my island. Dang near. Not my island, my farm. I really need to get over saying that. So, we really need to get home before I pass out of exhaustion. But not bad for day one. I don't think. See if we can make a torch. Oh no, we need more wood. Now let's see if we can make a torch. Oh my gosh. Not enough sap, whatever. Uh, I think we can get back still, so we'll be good. Let's... Okay, yeah. This... I'm not sure, I wasn't sure how different this map would be. Um, it looks like the map is exactly the same though, it's just my actual farm plot that is different. Oh no. Okay, let's try to get through here without passing out of exhaustion. We're gonna try it? I don't know, I don't know. Woo! Okay, we've made it through day one. Oh, and I've leveled up. So, plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe. Um, Sin A. Myers, subscribed on YouTube. Shout out to you. Okay. So now we are on day two. Now I'm kind of annoyed that we couldn't pick up that chest that we just had over um, out yonder. So basically what I'm pretty sure what I want to do now is figure out or get um, a new chest or build a new chest like basically right away. But to do that, I'm going to need to cut down a few trees, so we'll go do that. But, water our plants. Do, do, do. Okay, so, uh, 
Actually, we should fill up our water, which is really easy. All you have to do is just take your water thing over there and then just click on it or whatever. I'm actually playing this on the PC, but I know it's available for the Switch and other platforms too, so. So I need 50 wood to create a chest or to build a chest, which is what I'm trying to do. I will try to use most of my energy today um, that you can see I've already burned through a lot of it and it's only 8 a.m. Yeah, so, well, you start with a land and it's got, depending on what kind of farm you choose, it's got quite a bit of resources on it that have to be harvested. But, um, again, it, it kind of depends, I guess, on which type of farm that you pick at the beginning because I've only so far chosen um, the, uh, the standard farm type and it seems like this one is quite a bit different and there's a bunch of other different ones too that you can choose from. So I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between all of them, but... So far, the gist of it seems pretty much the same. I can't cut this down, why not? I must have to use some other sort of tool for that. That's weird, I don't know what I'm supposed to use. And then, yeah, so another part of it too, as you can see, um, on the side there, my energy bar. I only have so much energy in a day. And I can supplement that energy by making stuff. Um, or I can like, I think like you can buy like food from restaurants, like the restaurant in town and stuff, I don't know. It's a, uh, we'll get to all that I guess. Um, I'm super running out of energy, but nope. I've got one more, I've got a seed here to plant. So we'll do that. And then I've got enough now to make a chest. So we've got this chest. Let's see where should we should put it. I'm going to put it. Can we put it in here? Yes, of course we can. So let's put this in our house and I'm going to put all of these resources that I've gathered so far in our little chest. And then sadly, I'm about out of energy for the day. I don't really think this was the best use of our energy. Let's go walk about and see. Sometimes we can find like wild fruits and not wild fruits, but like I can't eat this, but sometimes, like, I found, like, a wild onion before, and you can eat that and, like, get energy. Yeah, the retro graphics are pretty fun, I think, also. Um, yeah, they are, definitely. It's kind of, at first, you're like, wow, like, what is this that I'm playing in this day and age? But it's, it's really charming, and you catch, it catches on quickly, trust me. Oh, Haley wants a high, a wild horseradish. Lewis? So we do have some more exploring to do around the island. Or, not, I keep saying island, around the farm. I've got to get the Animal Crossing out of my brain. Um, there's the library. Gunther. There's a book missing here. 
Oops, I'm trying to water the bookshelf. That might be part of the problem. Tips on farming, use fertilizer. Um, fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they can require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons, like corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe. All right, looks like we got a reading group here. But I got people to meet, so. Let's see if there's anybody else in this building. It would appear not. The other, uh, when I was playing on my other one, I was in here and this woman just appeared standing right here. It was really creepy. So I guess that can happen. Again, I'm no expert at this game. It could be an island. I mean, that's a very solid point. It very well could be an island. Um,. I just, I feel bad assuming that about it, you know, just because I don't really have all the facts, you know. Shop, upgrade tools, no, I don't need to do any of this. I just wanted to go in there and check it out. So let's go to the store. Morris. Joja Mart. Lovely. Well, I don't have any money, so that's good. We don't have to worry about paying. Hey kid, the name's Pam. So that's Pam. This looks like a person. Shane is not interested in talking because he's hard at work. Wow, cool Shane, cool. All right, so we'll just get out of their hair, I suppose. And I'll continue on our journey. Now, from what little I know about this game, I know that we're about out of energy. Did I actually meet these guys? Okay, I don't know if I did. Um, however, there is a way I want to go through to get home, which I think hopefully we can find one of the things we're looking for. Look at there was a little bunny. So we're gonna go down through here. How do you get energy? Uh, yeah, I, this game, um, I got it on Steam, but I'm playing on the PC and I know it, it's probably different for, I know it's available on the Switch and other things. So um, you get energy either by sleeping or eating things that have energy, like right here. Okay, we just found a Oops, let me get closer to it. We just found a wild horseradish. So, I can eat this now. And it will give me plus 13 energy, which isn't very much. But, it's enough for me to go try to find another wild horseradish. Because I'm pretty sure that's what... Oh, am I supposed to go there by today? Shoot. Um, we'll go there tomorrow, but I'm supposed to bring her, Haley, a wild horseradish, but I think if we have found one, then we can probably find more. Honestly, I've never played Minecraft. I really want to, but I just don't have the game, but from what I've seen and heard of Minecraft, it looks similar, but again, I've never played Minecraft, so I can't say for sure. Okay, so we're running out of energy, and I do want to save this wild horseradish for our friend here. Um, 
you do remember though, we built a chest. Aha, here it is. And before I go home, I'm going to steal the things out of here. Um, and I'll come back for the rest of it later. Um, we will eventually be able to get more room in our backpack, which is the inventory that you just saw. I only have a few spaces open though. Yeah, so I think it's like Minecraft, but honestly, I haven't played Minecraft, so I wouldn't really be able to tell you, honestly. Okay, so my energy is real low. But not low enough to where we still couldn't do a few things however my little chest that I built now is in here so I'm gonna move all of this stuff into here except for I've got two uh, seeds so I'm going to now see how much I can get away with in terms of planting seeds <laughs> a cat has two vocal cords and can make over a hundred sounds I believe it. I believe that all day long, for sure. They can actually be quite annoying and loud, but it's part of the charm. Okay, so looks like, oops, looks like I should have enough energy to water this stuff right before bed before we pass out. So there we go. Go to sleep for the night. That was night two. Day two. Here we go, day three. Just like that. Back at them. Ooh, it's rainy. So it's kind of nice to have rainy days because um, you don't have to water your plants, which is exactly the same as Animal Crossing. Love it. Um, yeah, I started a new game for this stream because I'm doing, um, I, I have one that's like a weekend, but I'm using that for my like YouTube videos and I want to keep that like consistent. So I started, um, a new game with a farm plot that I've never played before. And I'm only like a weekend with my other game anyway, so I'm not any sort of expert. I'm just working on clearing a bit of this out. Why? Oh. So I don't have the right tool. Um, clearing a bit of this out for now. Um, Again, I've only ever played the standard farm and just for a brief period, I don't really know what I'm doing quite yet. Yeah, that's very true, Mr. Cleaner. I didn't even think about that. Uh, there are similarities and differences, for sure. Definitely don't spend as much time in this one um, customizing things. It's a lot more foraging, I think. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now I can use my hoe because I've got two little random things of mixed seeds here that I can plant. And then also I'm actually going to create another chest. One that I'm going to put out here because I'm kind of, I'm already sick of running into like getting the one in my house. Uh, and yeah, 
So let's go see if I can. Yeah, I've got a bit of energy left. Um, so what I'm going to do is just gather a few stones and some other things, and I'm just going to sell like a few of them. And that's only because I think I like I need like a little bit of money. That's all, just a little bit. The rest of it I've got saved. And again, you guys, this is a blind playthrough. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. But we're going to figure it out together. Okay, cool. And I'm watching my, uh, I'm watching on the bottom right there, my energy levels. Um, I don't want them to get too low. They're already real low. See what else I can get away with here. Looks like it's about it. So like I said, I just I want to make a little bit of money, so I'm just gonna sell a few things. Just so I can simply get enough money to buy more seeds. And that will be day three. Terrible. But that's because we're saving all of our um, all of our resources at this point. So Doo -doo -doo. Oh, you are kidding me with that stuff. Go away. So we just had an evil bird attack our farm. Um, looks like they ate one of the parsnips. Not cool. But I think soon, sooner or later we will get a scarecrow recipe and then that won't be such an issue anymore. Okay, and uh, nothing in town opens actually until um, 9 a.m. So there's not actually a huge reason to like run out into town like right away, right at this moment for me. So I'm just going to do a little bit of foraging here and then we'll be on our way. I don't know what you're talking about, but I already am intrigued, so continue. So these little things on the ground I'm finding are, um, little, well, they're either pine cones or, oh, I found a geode also. I'm so confused what, what you chop these down with. It can't be that. It's gotta be this. But it's not though, because I've tried it a million times and that's not how you chop them down. I don't get it. Van Rooker, hey, what's up? How are you? Happy Saturday. Yeah, this game is a, it's a bit old school. I'm trying to still figure my way out uh, though. So don't, no judgment, please. Not that you would, but. Okay, so now it's 9.40 a.m. Now that I've like used most of my energy, that's fine. We can um actually let's let's put this stuff away, except for the geode because I can go get that done by the crafter guy. But let me see if I can make this yet. Yes, I need an acorn, a maple seed, and a pine cone. So. Acorn, maple seed, pine cone. Do, do, do. I can make one at least. And 
and then we'll put the rest back and we'll go into town so I think you can Van Hooker I haven't gotten that far yet I'm only on day four um oh I didn't even know I could cross the street here <laughs> this tells you how like little I know about this game so far I really just started like playing this blindly I thought it might be entertaining, especially for people who know how to play. Mr. Be Nice, hello. How's it going? Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Do, do, do. Wanted to see if there was anybody out and about in town. Penny, yeah. Okay, so here's the town square. This is where they post little jobs, I guess. 15 copper ores. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll go in here just to see if we can get I want a bean starter. I know I can only get one. And we'll get a parsnip too because I'm broke. We're gonna eat this leek. And then, uh, actually we can't even go visit the, the blacksmith because we don't have enough um, gold. So. There probably is a whole new world across the street. I'm still just in exploring the whole thing. Ooh, the air fryer, nice. I love the, I love the air fryer. You can make so many things in those, they're so nice. I thought I saw a flower over here. Do, 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 do. Let's go into the saloon. Again, even though, again, I can't afford anything. Oh, I was hoping someone else would be in here. Maybe they are. I think there's more over here. Yeah, and earlier I discovered that you can actually play these little arcade games, although... I'm quite terrible at them. It's also part of it. Okay. Hello, Evelyn. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see what's up here. More daffodils. This is the town center. Uh, air fryers are nice for cooking root vegetables. I have some chopped up potatoes and carrots in there right now. I'm going to throw chili and cheese on top of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that sounds pretty intense. Like, in a good way. That sounds awesome. Sorry, guys. One moment. Okay. Oh. Oh. We have discovered a little park of sorts. I think I already met you. Let's try to give one of these to her and see. Oh, she liked it! That worked. That worked pretty well. Pretty easy. I don't even know if you're allowed to, like, use stuff outside of your house probably not this is like a park but i know there's a secret forbidden area up here i discovered it earlier i guess it's not that secret because there's literally a path that leads to it so it's really not secret but If 
if I open a restaurant, I'm going to set up a giant air fryer situation. Yeah. I, uh, I know quite a few people that have them and they are amazing. So this would be the science museum. Can I get one for 19, <laughs> for 19 bells? Hey, who are you? Sebastian. Okay. Stereo microscope. I'm not allowed to go in his room. That's rude. If I open a restaurant, it's going to be a cereal restaurant because I wouldn't be good at making anything else, I don't think. <gasps> hey, you. There's a guy up there. Yeah, so like, I have an instant pot. I love that thing, it's just, I mean, it's not terrible to clean, but it's not great to clean either. It's just, it's just so-so. Why is there a little sign here? There's no railroad. Or maybe there's supposed to be, and it's missing. I found a thing here. I found a thing here. I am a serial killer. It is true. It gets to 400 degrees internally, so it self-sterilizes every month or so I might clean it out. Oh, wow, yeah, so that is nice. You don't have to worry about it too much. I don't know where the heck I am right now, guys. Oh, I think I'm back on my farm now. This is um, gonna be that little weird area, the little, uh... yes, this area. It won't let me hoe it or nothing. I like making, um, so I used to use my slow cooker a lot, but the problem is, is a lot of times I want to make like a roast or something in the slow cooker and I don't remember until like 3 or 4 p.m. That's when the Instant Pot is really great because it tastes almost better than in the slow cooker. But maybe that's because I don't have a, like a great slow cooker. However, still. Wait, didn't I just have some? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I have some seeds. And I wanna see what I have in here too. Oh no, these are just other things. Okay, whatever. I will plant. My part, my one parsnip, and my one bean. There we go. And I still have plenty of energy left, so there's no way I'm going to bed yet in the game. So let's see, let's clear through some of this crap right now. Do 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 do. Uh, I have noticed in my little short time of playing that using the scythe here uses remarkably less energy than using any of the other tools. So, I don't know. That may, honest, may or may not be true. Again, this is a... Uh, I have not played this game very long.
But I am not going to waste all this energy that I've got left. That's for sure. So I'm going to um, harvest resources until I am about dead. And then I'll go home. Which my home is just over there. So. Over to the right. And again, I picked the forest farm theme this time. Never done this this one before. I've only ever done the the standard one for a very short time, so not sure what to expect from this one or uh, honestly like what the resources will be. At. They'll probably be the same. Obviously, there'll probably be more trees, I'm guessing. I just, I'm not sure pretty dark out here. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can make, I can't make a campfire yet. I need more stone. There's stone here. Stone here. Stone here. Stone here. Let's see. need more stone. What the heck? We have done a pretty good job though of um, keeping our person alive. I mean it's 11 p.m. and we're still not out of energy so that's good. Oops. Okay. And here's our campfire, and I'm gonna go back to my, in front of my house, cause it's really hard to see, cause it's pitch black. Hopefully we can get through here. There's my house. Ta-da! Okay, now it's bedtime. Good night. I, I have never happened to be out yet past two. I don't know what happens, but I believe you. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so the first thing, because I'm so skilled at this game so far, right? Um, the first thing I do, though, in the morning is I just water this stuff if it's not raining so that I don't forget. But looks like we get our first little uh, harvest of parsnips. Okay, cool. So actually, no, you know what? I know already what I want to do. I'm going to make an energy bar. I'm going to put that away and then we're going to explore the mine. got oh and I probably don't even need to bring my watering can with me either okay we're off to an adventure first things first um, I've noticed that sometimes across the street or somewhere around here there'll either there'll either be like a wild flower or like some type of vegetable or something so I just check there really quick um 
Again, this is just my extremely novice experience from what I've gathered in the last, like, 48 hours. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we're going elsewhere, we're going this way. Actually, we're going this way. See if anybody's over here really quick this morning. Because one of my quests is I still need to. Oh, wait. I finished one. Yes. As far as I have found out so far, yes, you do. Um, that may not be correct, but I think so, yes. But I also have never been asleep or like awake past like midnight in this game. So I don't know. Maybe if you're up past two, maybe something else happens. I don't know. There's a woodpecker. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Why, hello. Marlon, I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this, you might need it. Oh no. We've received a weapon. Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. Sounds interesting. I'm in. Let's jump into this hole. <laughs> what could go wrong? Do you see this? What's happening? What the heck? What is this? I just found, I found quartz. What's this? An earth crystal? What is all this stuff? Should I go down here? Uh-oh. I don't even know how to fight things in this game. <gasps> Is that a creature? I think I'm supposed to fight him. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Messed with the wrong guy, the wrong gal. there was evil creatures in this game oh no there's multiple of them I got a what's a cave carrot I don't know what it is but I'm gonna eat it <laughs> It said I should, so I'm gonna eat my field. No, I'll leave that too. Shoot, I'm I'm already about to run out. Ah! Are you kidding me? I'll kill you for doing that to me. No. Get back here. Hiya. Got him. Okay, so the sad news is, is I only have one. Uh 
space of inventory left. Okay, now I have two. I found copper ore. Oh, he's trying to fight me. They just keep, they just keep going. Am I really gonna about to lose to a bunch of purple, blue, green blob things? Nah, 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 nah. I don't think so. Okay, hold on. So, some of these things I have... I think they're like crab things that come alive. I don't even know what they are. What the heck? I see another one of those green things over there. <gasps> I wonder what this little... Oh, we can go even farther. Uh-oh, I feel like I'm about to run into like a boss or something. And this isn't gonna be good. I really don't even know what's going on. Uh, like a couple levels above these things turned into evil crabs. What's this? Maybe that's not, oh, I bet you can probably go all the way back up to the top of the mine or something, like right away. But what is like, I can go even further. I wonder how far you can, <laughs> I'm waiting for the, that's what she said. But seriously. Ta-da, I'm a killer. Reach level 40, there's 40 levels in the mines. Oh my goodness. What's this? I can't even use this stuff. My I gotta go. We gotta go. My pockets are full. Dang. Okay, that was a good explanation. Er, <laughs> explanation. That was a great exploration through the mine, I think. For, this is only day five. And look at we got some weird stuff. We got an earth crystal. I've never even seen some of this stuff yet. In my like two hours of playing this game so far. We got a uh, copper ore. We got stone. We got uh, quartz. We got earth crystal. We got a geode. We got slime and we got coal. Lewis. Sharky farm. Sharky farm, 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 farm. Make sure I met all these people. Hey, it's farm girl. I am so much more than a farm girl. Whoa, it's popping in here. What's up? Okay, so we meet Pierre. Dang. Guys, it's popping in here. I guess it's it is 5 p.m. Give me another pint of the strongest, my girl. We uh, am I allowed back here? Apparently, I am. Wow, there's a lot of people in here. Apparently, is this like when everybody comes in here at six o'clock? I want this guy to like me. Let's give him something. Fuck it. Okay, screw you then, man. You know what? I'm over it. That guy's mean. It's Willy. 
You guys, everybody comes. I didn't know this, so I guess everybody comes here at like five, six o'clock. That's good to know. I didn't mean to give you that. Damn it. Okay, this is Marnie. I know Marnie. Marnie doesn't notice that I'm there. Well, you know what? Marnie isn't a very nice lady. I know this guy. Maybe if I just keep bugging him. Uh, no, I'm not gonna give him any of that stuff. Not worth it. See, did I meet you yet? No. Meet you yet? Let's see. Who uh, I think we've been about... Okay, we've got four people met left to meet. I'm not sure who they are. <gasps> Ooh, scandalous. I'm surprised. I did not know that they all came in here after hours. I already know you, Penny. Okay, let's, let's, uh... Go down here. We'll see. I don't think I've met. Go in here. I think old man. Oh, it's it's cold. It's locked. There's like the guy that lives with Evelyn. His name is George. I think if you go into that house, you can meet him. I don't think I've met him yet, but we'll see. Tomorrow. It's getting a bit late. Uh. I can't make a torch. I will make one once I get back to my property. <laughs> okay, so here we are, day five. Oh, those are mixed seeds. Shoot. Okay, I'll have to come back and get those. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can get through here. I did it before. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll put away these minerals that we found. Um, I found copper ore, a bunch of stone, quartz. Um, I'm going to go get all those geodes, like, um, assessed or whatever at once. And now, let me go grab, because there was some seeds over there that, that we've left. And I've still got some energy left, too. So, um, we can chop down a few more things before I go call it a night. <laughs> uh, I like to do, like, this at night, like the Skype. I think it's the easiest when there's really, like, no light and you can't see. And with low energy, I think you can still get quite a bit of this done. So, we'll go through here, clean this up. I haven't even looked at this part of my property yet, honestly. But as you can see, um, my energy isn't going down quite as quickly as if I was chopping trees or um, stones. It is hard to see though because it's dark and I could I could remedy this situation um I can build things uh, right off the bat pretty much I can build a campfire I can build a torch man through here uh, okay so yeah like we can see now and I still got energy left so this area is already done good but we got some mixed seeds from uh, from cutting down some of the, either, you can get those from trees, I think, or cutting down weeds and grasses. And um, what I'm talking about is these mixed seeds that I just planted here. I'm not even sure what any of them are, but I'm just going to water them, make sure that they're watered. Put those away. And honestly, it's 11.50. We've 
We still have a little bit of time left, or a little bit of energy left. So, a quick way to get rid of energy is to cut down a tree. Yeah, it's getting late. But this way I'm not wasting the energy that I have. Um, and you know, I'm like right outside my house, so it's not that big of a deal. Look, let's grab this really quick. And there we go. Okay, so we leveled up, um, level one farming, plus one watering can proficiency, plus one hoe proficiency. Uh, and we can build now a scarecrow and fertilizer. So. Okay, let's get to it. Farm life isn't gonna wait for us. Oh, hello. Clint is here to say hello. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Why, me? The furnace allows you to, sw to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Cool, man, thanks. There we go. If you can slay 10 slimes, you've earned your place in my adventurer's guild. <gasps> oh, you know what that means. We got to go back to the mines. First things first, though. Water our plants. So I do first thing in the morning. Oops. And honestly, um, I don't have much money right now because I've been, I've just been hoarding all of the resources I've been collecting. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to do this game. I'm really just kind of trying out different ways and seeing what works. So let's go. haven't even really been, like I haven't even explored that whole part of the island yet. Not the island, the farm, the farm. I'll get this eventually. But like all this out here, just, is this like, it's just all out for grabs, it's weird. Let's see what we can find out here. creepy tower and someone is inside but I cannot hear them or I can hear them but I cannot see them I see that doesn't sound suspicious at all Let's see what's over here what is this something I can't get through right now An old abandoned house again. Okay, so now we're back over to this beach. I still need to go visit the beach and see and get my fishing pole. We should probably do that. It's only 9 a.m. 
Um, and I also need to get those geodes. Um, I don't understand why I can't pick this up. Well, I guess I'll just have to leave that there forever. So we'll go back to my place so I can drop this stuff off and then I, because I also need to get the geodes that I left there in my inventory. Hello. I think that was a clue. There's Marnie's house. We'll go right up past that, back to my house, my farm. Oh, come on, let me through. Uh, so I'm really just trying to get back to my front porch. <laughs> um, so I can drop this stuff off. And actually, now that I think about it, well, first of all, I shouldn't have those in there. But one of our quests is really easy, and it's just to build a scarecrow. We need wood, coal, and fiber. Which I'm pretty sure I have all three of those in here. Coal, wood, and fiber. I do. So we build a scarecrow. That was easy. There it goes. How scary is that, right? And also, we've got one more little set of seeds here to uh, plant, water that, and so we did the scarecrow thing. introductions we've got three more people left to meet we still got to go to the beach we got to build a coop oh shoot and we got to catch three herring we might want to go like immediately to the beach Doo -doo 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 -doo. so um since we only have until 5 p.m i'm going to just go now since we gotta run What an eyesore, says Lewis. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. <laughs> Those young folk, right? But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. That's, I'm starting to get that. I'm starting to get that. I think that's what's going on, but I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll see. Let's go inside, I suppose, and see what they are up to. I know, right? There's no raccoon demanding money from me. This doesn't feel like home. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Those little brats. As a little creature. I saw the little creature. You 
I saw the creature, right? That wasn't a rat. That's a little apple with hands. I don't trust any of this. Okay, man, you do you, but I'm just saying this place is weird. Nope, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Strange indeed. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. I agree. Like right now. <laughs> So, just from like what I've played a little bit before, I know that there's nothing in here except for this weird thing. Which no one can read. And that's all that's in here. And there's nothing else in this whole entire building you can interact with. Which is really annoying. So, we'll leave now. Because I need to get to the beach. Again, I really need to get to the beach, like immediately. But first, I just accepted some quest. I don't know. Okay, go to the beach. The beach entrance is down here. So, oh, it's right here. There is old man Willie, old man William here. Ahoy there, I heard there was a newcomer in town. That's me. Okay, so this is where we get the fishing rod. And now we've gotta to try to catch three herring. And I'm gonna tell you, if any of you have ever seen me fish on Animal Crossing, I'm even worse in this game. Just so you know. Um, we only have until 5 p.m. I'm gonna to try to at least like catch one fish, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Like, it's so weird. I don't understand how, like, what. Okay, we got that one, but still, like, I really, I hate, I hate fishing in this game even more than Animal Crossing. It's even worse. It, I agree. It is way more complicated. Also, I'm, I'm like, so impatient. Like, look it. We only have, like, two hours. Like, dude, I need these two fish. Come on. So, like, apparently when the little uh, exclamation point pops up, that's when... Oh, I got some seaweed. Cool. When the little exclamation point pops up, that's when you've got a bite. But see, look, like, it's already, I screwed myself over with this one. I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get all the herrings in the, in the right amount of time. No! What the heck? I hate this so much. Why is it called the Dark Ages? Because of all the nights. Okay. 
I don't think we're gonna get the five o'clock herring guys. I really just don't. No, don't start going crazy. No, he's going crazy. He's, he's, no! <laughs> Screw you and your fishing. I don't even wanna go fishing anymore. I'm busy. I just remembered I have to go. Bye. Guys, I'm not any better. I'm actually, again, worse at fishing in this game than I am in real life. And I did not think that was possible. Whoa, that's creepy. I didn't even ask you about the inside of your cabin. Thanks a lot, weirdo. He's just like, yo, if you wouldn't like it, it's dark and creepy. Cool. I don't want to talk to you, Lewis. I'm disturbed by what I've just seen. Let's give Leah some seaweed and see what happens. No, let's give this guy that hates me some seaweed. I don't really like you. And I gave Alex a fish and he didn't like that either. You know what? All of these people here are just a bunch of... I give them free stuff and they just don't even appreciate it. It's, it's just like whatever. I'm trying to run away, it won't let me. Out of order. Hmm. I wish it would let, oh, it will let me chop down these trees. I didn't know that. That noise, I really like it. I don't know what it is, that when it like, everything like comes into your inventory, I don't know. It is quite satisfying. All right, your girl needs some bells, so I'm about to start selling just a few things. What is a cockle? <laughs> That's not real. Is a cockle really real? Because I am disturbed if that is the truth. I wonder if I can catch stuff in like a little thing like this. I just had one. I, I, well, I caught it. It was on the beach. It was laying on the beach. I caught a broken CD. Yes. What's a cockle? Hi, Shimon. Welcome. I don't know what a cockle is. I'm not doubting you, though. I believe you that they're real. I didn't think I could actually catch stuff in this little puddle here. <gasps> There's an actual fish on this line. See, if I hold it down, then it shoots way up. Yeah, I've seen a mussel. You know, want to know what a really weird creature is? Is a, a Portuguese man of war. I watched a YouTube video about those this YouTube video about those this morning. Those things are weird. And also really dangerous. So watch out. Mm, I think I got enough energy to chop down a tree. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I, uh, I'm not the world's biggest fan of, like, seafood anyways, so...
Okay, the rest of this I will save, though. And then I'll probably just go to bed. I'm not sure what else we could get up to today. I need the daylight. I don't want to slurp that. <laughs> Quote of the day. I don't want to slurp that. See, I'm a huge texture person, so like, if, um, like, I really like yogurt, but it's the thing about the texture, like, I'm super weird about it. I, like, I like the flavor of shrimp, but it's the texture of it I can't stand. Ooh, let's go talk to the wizard man. Wizard man, I come for you. While I run through here, I will uh, use my machete. They call it a, a scythe, I think. That's how you pronounce it, but this is a machete. Machete is funner sounding. Scarier sounding, nonetheless. Oh look, there's stuff over here. Okay, uh, what's this? A dandelion. A really good dandelion. Um, a mushroom, oh damn, we're already out of space. Wow, okay. So I will go back to my house and drop this stuff off. And this is why I've been selling a few things because I need to get money so that I can expand my backpack. This is just not working, having only a few things in my backpack with me. Plant these two. And also then I can put this little watering can away too. I don't need to carry it around with me all day. Shit tons of cockles in UK. Wow, okay. So now, yeah, maybe that's why I've never heard of one, but I just heard the name cockles and I was like, wait. That's not real. Someone's messing with me. <laughs> I'm assuming they are, because people like go nuts for um, sea people that like seafood, which is most people. I'm just, I don't know. I just can't get into it for whatever reason. I just can't. Okay, I don't need the sword right now, so I'm gonna put that away. I don't need the hoe. I do need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. So I'm just going to keep these three things with me while I am out exploring. But if you remember, we were over here trying to cut some stuff down and all that, and we ran out of room. We can go back up there. That's where the rest of those wild onions are that I left. But, whoa, what the heck is this? What is this? Mead? Oh, we need some mead. Oh, we can't buy mead because we don't have any money. Cheese cauliflower? What is this? This guy seems kind of shady. <laughs> yeah, I, um, so I have broadened my horizons a bit as far as that goes. Um, I used, I do like some sorts of sushi now, but mostly just like crab. I still just can't get past the texture thing. I just, I am a self-admitted, like, terrible, like, I have like the plainest taste in the world and I'm going to show you a perfect example or tell you about one. Um, my perfect pizza is just cheese. So that honestly, right, that sentence will probably explain all that you need to know about my tastes. <laughs> can I harvest this? No, but I can go see this weird guy in here. I don't know, but cauliflower cheese sounds amazing. 
Anything with cheese. Well, not anything, but I love cauliflower. Wizard says, come on in. And, okay, here's another thing that I'm just about to throw out there. I'm not trying to be, like, make stereotypes about the UK, but they were talking about earlier how the mayor liked his tea. And that's not something that we talk about in America. Like, how you like your tea. If anything, it's how you like your coffee. You know, or how you like your whiskey. Like, on the rocks, or like, I don't know. <laughs> This guy, this guy knows stuff. I don't know if I should be here. The one whose arrival I have long foreseen. What type of tea, Mr. Titan? That's one of those little uh, evil creatures right there. Those little apple, they look like apples with arms. I saw one, yeah, out in the wilderness when we were out browsing about. Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Yeah, probably because you live in a little creepy castle with this weird occult thing. I don't even know what's going on here, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm the same way. Um, <laughs> This sounds... This is so terrible for me to say, but I'm the same way with, like, caffeine. I'll get a terrible headache if I don't drink, like... I love Coke Zero. If I don't drink, like, it doesn't have to be Coke Zero. Like, I could drink coffee or something like Red Bull or, <laughs> like, I'll get a terrible headache. Tea is much healthier, so, yeah. Again, um, I'm not sure what cauliflower cheese is, but I am all about it. I love cauliflower and I love cheese, so... This dude is, like, freaking me out. He's just all off in his own space. I don't even understand what's going on. What the heck? <laughs> then he comes in through the other door. He, like, shoots off into the abyss and then just comes in this door. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. I see. We, the, Ju the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. That seems fishy, AF. Just about to throw that out there. One with the forest? Yeah, that's weird. That can't mean anything good. Oh, so it's literally the same as broccoli and cheese. But it's just cauliflower. Perfect. Love it. Okay, I have to ask you a question. Do you eat, um, I ask you this because I visited some friends of mine that live in Europe, like, they actually live in Belgium, um, but they eat tartare. I could not, and I just want to know if it's, like, a whole, like, is it just, like, a Belgian thing? Is it just, like, a, like, a mainland Europe thing? Is it, like, everybody in the whole of Europe does that? I could not, I tried, they, they wanted to pay me money to eat it, and I physically could not. I don't even know what's going on with this guy right now. He's kind of blabbering on, it's boring me. Oh, I think I got, I think I just got sick. I think he just roofied me. Yep, we about to pass out. Oh, -hoo 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 -hoo. <gasps> okay.
Okay, things about to get wild. I don't know what's going on, but he just gave us some cybacillin lace tea, I think, is what just happened. Oh, thank goodness. I was horrified. <laughs> Not, I wasn't really horrified. It's just, it's, it's, uh, tartar or what they were eating there. It's like beef ground beef but it's raw and you eat it that way and um i actually i said i would eat it i would try it at one point and it went it came down the time for me to try it and i physically could not actually like do it like i was gagging even thinking about like trying to eat raw raw beef i couldn't do it I don't know how we got on this topic, but we did find the wizard, and now I'm ready to go and find the, uh, we're going back into that mine, because I'm curious about the wine, or about the, about the mine. Not this. And actually, like, from what I can see from just this bit, um, this forest version is much less, uh, it's easier to run through without having the whole thing cleared out, I guess. That's what I'm getting at. But if I'm going in there, then I'm going to need potentially these things. And actually, let's see if I can build. Okay, I can make one of these little bars really quick too. Cool. All right, let's go to the mine. Wait, no, let's not because I have to put this back still. Now let's go to the mine. <laughs> Oh, it's Belgian only. Oh, thank, thank goodness. Because they made me feel so bad about the fact that I wouldn't try. I, because I said I would try it. Because I, I didn't think it was literally going to be, like, ground beef. Like, pink. Just, literally, it was like a trisket. They had a trisket and, like, put some ground beef, like, raw on it. Like, right, straight out the fridge. And was like, here, eat this. And I was like, ooh trying not to throw up as they're like I'm like dude I cannot I physically cannot put this in my mouth because I know that it's going to make me violently ill like extremely violently ill and they all ate it and they were fine and I did not eat it and they made fun of me the for the this was on like day three of my three week trip so for the whole rest of the trip I was made fun of for you know not being adventurous but it did give me a good precedence for the rest of the trip because then I didn't care about like refusing anything I didn't want to eat because it was they already had this opinion of me that I was just like I'm not gonna eat anything that's not American only because I wouldn't eat this like raw beef disgustingness I'm sorry I couldn't get past it it might be delicious it's just it's a texture thing for me but for the whole rest of the trip though I was like yeah can't do it. And they were like, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. We're escaping off into the Netherlands again. Well, that's the thing is they kind of, they had it, um, it was like as a, like part of their meal that they were eating, but there was like regular they were eating other things too. I don't exactly, I ate the other stuff. I never remember what any of it was called, but um, there was one thing that I loved when I was there and I can't remember the name of it, but it was um, basically, it was like a fountain of cheese and you like dip, it was like you have stuff that you dip in it. It was like pickles and little pieces of tomato and like potato and stuff. I can't remember what it was called, but it was like my favorite thing that I ate the entire time I was in Europe. It was absolutely fantastic. And I've never had anything like it in the U.S. So 
That's why I remember it so much. If you told me if you told me the name of it, I would remember it right away. But yeah, it's not you're right. It's not like a main dish. It's a kind of like an appetizer, like kind of like how like shrimp is served here like with cocktail sauce as like an appetizer. That's like kind of what I got from it anyway. Yeah, it's like fondue. But it's not called fondue. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, look, look. Whoa. Homeboy isn't playing. I got a crab. Why is there a crab down here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, shoot. I, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. Um. This is gonna drive me nuts until I remember it because it was so good. No, 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 because I could say this word and I, I know, because the only reason I know is because I could say this word and I can't say whatever word you just said. Um, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna find it. I'm so sorry, you guys. This is just gonna drive me nuts. Uh. It is. Called. I don't know, I can't find it. I can't find it with my American Google over here. I don't know, I, can't, I keep finding fondue, but either way it was it's literally so good. I'm gonna, it's gonna be on my, like on my mind until I remember what it's called though. Shoot, um. I remember because like my favorite thing that they had, there was a whole bunch of different, it was, it was basically fondue, but they called it something else. Um, but there was a whole bunch of different things. There was like little potatoes, but th my favorite thing that they had that like was the option was these like little pickles that they had that you could like dip in the cheese and it was like so good. But there was like this whole special like um, piece of like this like whole appliance that you had to have special to like make this. Because the reason that I know that is because that day I was like staying with, it was um, a friend of mine who I knew through school and um, their sister, his sister. And they were trying to make this but their, the one, the appliance that they had like didn't work. So we like went into this like, obviously this like, it was like a Belgian Best Buy, which is like, I was like fascinated by everything in there, but they were just there to get this appliance and shoot, I really wish I could remember what it was called. But it was to make this certain like food that they were all like, they all wanted and it was so good. It was so worth it. What are these things? Bug meat? Oh, wait, I think, I think I'm supposed to kill these, right? How is this killing me? It's a slime. 
It's a piece of slime. So I bet if you just came down here and like knocked all this stuff out, you would uh, this is probably mostly rocks, but I bet this is where you find all those cool ore, uh, all those different kinds of, um, minerals, I think. Um, in the last little game that I was playing, I found, um, a piece of amethyst, I think, and if you go to the library, you can, like, display it. can see we're starting to run low on health. Good thing I brought this with us. It's not going to do actually a whole lot, but better than nothing. And let's go down again. Because why not? Oh, look, we got a creature that wants to fight. I think he wants to fight anyway. He must have wanted to. I don't I don't know what else he would have wanted. But yeah, this is definitely uh where you go to get um not only stone because I was wondering where do you get stone and stuff after you've cleared your property? Well, obviously these mines are chock full of them. Number 1. But I'm getting real tired now. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Oh man, there's another layer. And of course, I've got to go back. This is so irritating. So I suppose if you're good at this game, what you do is you have a bunch of pocket space and you come down here with a bunch of energy boosting things. <laughs> I know, energy boosting things, but things that you can um, go down further into the mine with because obviously, like, I didn't have enough room. Yeah, it is getting late, and we need to go home, and I don't know where we are. We're, we might be kind of screwed, you guys. So apparently I'm not supposed to be out past midnight. This is not getting, this is, this might be bad. This whole situation here might be bad. Do, 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 do. Although I'm not gonna lie, I'm super curious as to what happens if I'm out past midnight, because like what's gonna happen? Okay, I gotta get out this way. Yeah, 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 I'm almost home. Don't worry. Ah, uh, I'll play co-op with you if you want. Yay! Okay, Spiral! I'm so happy to see you. Okay, we'll talk about this tomorrow or something. Sounds good. Sleep well. I know it's like super late there, so. Oh my gosh. First of all, it's almost two. I'm about to run out of energy. I think we're about to learn what happens at the dreaded 2 a.m. mark. We're about to get eaten by a monster or something. Oh, all that happens is you pass out. That's fine. I thought I was gonna get eaten by like some sort of monster or something that like came up from the valley and just like ate my entire character, but no. So let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, Robin wants 
to build me stuff and charge me money. Wow, I had to go to the clinic, huh? So that's my punishment. Okay, so if you pass out, that's what happens. If you stay up past 2 a.m., you pass out from exhaustion, you have to pay 40 gold to, um, to pay Dr. Harvey for his wonderful doctoring services of letting you fall asleep. <laughs> hey, I feel that. I, uh, I, uh, I know how that goes. I'm also in quite a few. I just got this game, though, like, two days ago. Like, literally. So I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty gung-ho about it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so look at, we've got some good stuff in there so far. Oh, actually, let's go back up here. Put that back, and we're gonna go see about these geodes. And then we're gonna go from there. I don't know what we're gonna do from there, but we're gonna go. See about these geodes, and then, honestly, I really wanna go back to that mine. Oops, that was, it. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. got a leak. What else do we've got here? Yeah, exactly. It's a, uh, I've, I, uh, I've noticed that there's a lot more to this game than I realized because the graphics look so simple, you know, you're kind of expecting it to be kind of stupid, but there's quite a bit more to it than I, um, thought, thought at first anyway, so. Okay. I talk to you every day, you dork. Hmm. In the local mine. Craft a furnace. Can I actually do that yet? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, I need 20, 20 copper ore. Oh, yeah, so basically we do need to go back down into that little um, evil mine thing that we were in. Cool. I like it back there. Uh, I feel like we find cool things. I'm about it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm okay with it. Let's go in here, though, and check really quick. Sometimes there's people in here. That's why I wanted to look. Oh, Demetrius is in there, but I already met him. Oh, and this person. Did I meet you? Yeah, I did. Okay, the only reason I care about that is because I'm trying to meet... There's like a goal, you have to meet 28 people or something, I think I'm at 25, so. Here's my boy. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I know, he says. Okay. Oh, I should have went to do the geode first. What's this? I don't... I don't know what this is. I think I just took a, I think I just took a shortcut. I did take a shortcut. Why am, why am I already down here? I got a glow ring. Some bug gut. So obviously whatever this thing is, it's not really welcome around around town. Cause I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get a bunch of these. Ta da What do they do? 
doing? Like communicating with each other and like healing each other or something? Nah. How are these slime things hurting me so much? Seriously, you're a slime. It almost killed me. Good thing I've got this to eat. Oh, I can even eat a dandelion, I guess. Cool. Look at that. Back to normal almost. Okay, well, obviously I am in over my head with this, however. There's another layer I can go down. Yeah, I don't either. Like, I'm like, I don't. Is this how I get back to the top? Oh, yeah. It is really, it, it's weird. I I just discovered this part today, so I really don't understand either. But. Okay, guys, real quick, I'm going to take a uh, five minute break. So um, don't go anywhere and I will be back in one second.
Okay, everybody, we are back. And, um, <laughs> proven adventurers only. Okay. Well, turns out that is what we are. So, quite interesting. I'm trying to see. Can I pick any of this up? Nope, I cannot. Okay, so we'll go through here. And actually what I should do now is I'm gonna go visit the blacksmith. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I get back down from here cause that got, uh, oh, here we go. Okay, cool. So the blacksmith is down, if we look at the map, the blacksmith is down, we're here, it is over here, down at the bottom, the southeast side of the map. So, well, eventually, but first I have to, I have these geodes that I have to knock open. Um... I happen to know that I'm probably not going to be able <laughs> to um, spend all of my uh, resources do like upgrading my tools just yet because I don't think I have enough. But eventually, yes, eventually, yes. So I'll go up here, library. The blacksmith. Okay, they close at 4 p.m. So, lesson learned. I guess we'll have to come back on day nine. Or another day. Do I have my fishing pole with me? I do not. Wow, that was a major fail. I have never played Harvest Moon, but if anybody else has and you would like to um, provide your input, I would be grateful. Doo -doo -doo. Apparently though, uh, the one thing about this game is there's a lot more strategy to it than it appears. Uh, Oh, look at this. We've still got the whole day and I really haven't used any of my energy yet. I'm gonna eat the dandelion. That sounds weird, but only because I, uh, you gotta be kidding me. I wanted to pick up this both of these but instead what I can do is I can just uh, build another chest yeah I'm not really sure if it's like harvest moon um again I'm kind of just starting my uh, whole getting back into gaming thing so I don't know all I know is I like it a lot it's definitely not the same as Animal Crossing but uh That's not a bad thing. Although I still keep referring to this as my island. I seriously need to break that habit. I've got 44 wood. Okay, so whoops. Oh, okay. So 
So I've got this now. I've got this random chest just sitting here. Hey, that's mine. We'll have to come back for it. I don't know. The, look at there's there's all the stuff laying around here. This is just this is what sucks at first about not having enough money to upgrade your pockets. But I assume if you probably did this correctly, then you would maybe be able to right off the bat. But I know I did it. I murdered. I've actually mur murdered like quite a few more than that too, Van Rooker, To be honest with you. Just in full disclosure, I found I found a ring, though. I mean, it's pretty cool. Okay, so oh look, I'm not even kind of tired yet, so we can still go out here and murder more things. Just for Van Rooker, I'm gonna murder this tree too. Uh, I could probably get one more. Oh, Titan, thank you. You are very sweet. Okay, let's go. Actually, we could probably do one. No, I'm not going to try that. I'm going to just try to break down a few more branches, maybe over here. They're easy to see, and I hate to waste energy, right? Um, obviously, we can be out until a little past midnight, so I've got energy left. I should at least try to use it and not waste it. <laughs> Thank you. I would, Van Rooker. You already know that, though. Come on. Of course. Just tell me where and when. Uh, I have a pickaxe. Is that the most... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm about to die. Ooh, okay. Let's go. I think I'm pushing it a bit far here now, guys. Go towards the light. <laughs> okay, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going! Sleep for the night. Here we go. Level 2 forager. Hell yeah. And I got a new cooking recipe. Because I'm the bomb. I know, but I like to eat. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, all right, I see. But I like to hear you say it, he says. Farmer bad cat. Robin, I do not forgive you, it turns out. So, sad, sad for you. I gotta put some of this stuff away, and I gotta get my watering can. And my sword. Oh, actually, too, I think it's... What do we need to make those little health bar things? Is it that that and the acorns? I don't know. Let's try it. Yes. Perfect. Then I can put those two away. And I'll get my stupid crusty sword back out. And we'll water all this. I need some more seeds. There's romance and marriage and stuff in this game later as well. It gets pretty intense. Yeah, so I know there's like, like, you can be single and not single so far so yeah I know there's a part of that I can I can Van Rooker 
I am a true warrior. You've just never seen it. Okay, let me go fill this. And I'm actually going into town because I need things. Sometimes I see stuff I'm like, I'm not sure like exactly what I can and can't like interact with sometimes, so. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I still haven't even made all my introductions in this game though. So, I mean, only time will tell. The sewer is locked. What a shame. Okay, so I'm trying to get to the um, the blacksmiths, which I'm pretty sure is over here. And I'm pretty sure they'll open at 9 a.m. So. Wow, it's just like I'm closed on Tuesdays. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we've got five. That's lame. That's better. What, what is that? Okay, cool. A stack of metalworking blueprints. Okay, so I got copple, copper ore and mudstone and regular stone. Lame. Fisherman Van <laughs> Well, actually, I don't know, because uh, I'm basically unable to fish in this game. And actually, in Animal Crossing, too, I'm just, I'm terrible. I'm a much better fisherman and fisherwoman in real life. Let's see if Jody wants a dandelion. Ugh, I hate you. Thanks a lot. Fine, I won't give you any gifts because you're the worst. I gave her a gift and she said, I hate it. I believe in miracles. So you're saying there's a chance. Look at, Emily liked my gift, you guys. Yes, exactly. I, I'm showing you right off the bat that you don't need it. Look it. I found it right off the bat, and it turns out this item is worthless, and you don't even need it. That's exactly what happened. Why don't they have a fire going? I, I think the really weird part about this is, look, you can look in their oven and in their fridge, or, like, on their fridge, Cupcakes, milk, and a tightly sealed jar of cornicons and a quinoa salad. Like, alright, okay. Let's, let's talk to this weirdo, this person. Oh, she just dissed me. It's good to see you again. That was supposed to be a slight at me, in case anybody was wondering. That's what it was. I mean, me too. That's a telltale sign of who they are, really. No, I want to go into this house. Ugh, only Leah's friends can... I thought me and Leah were friends. Apparently we're not friends. Thanks a lot. I thought we were friends. Oh, there's my chest. <laughs> okay. Not sure whatever species this is, though. 
I'm supposed to go find more of those little jello things, but um I want to know what's in this abandoned house. Some it's got something's got to give at some point, right? No, obviously it's abandoned. So I can't cut that down. Can I cut this down? Yes, I can. I just sometimes I don't understand. But the thing is, is I really need to start selling some of this stuff because, like, <laughs> I have, like, all these supplies with me. And, uh, didn't I pick this up already? Or I've got just two of them laying around? That doesn't surprise me either. Um, I, uh, anyway, I need to start selling things because I've got no money, but I've got all these supplies. Leah. I thought we were friends, but I just tried to break into your house and it said that we weren't friends, so thanks a lot. I'm not even gonna say hi to you. I have to go back to Sharky Farms. Cause guess what? Turns out my pockets are full again. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, well. I don't know why this is being all difficult. I think I have too many chests. <laughs> I probably don't need all of these, but as you can see, I have built I have built up quite a stockpile of um, resources so far, I think. Not bad anyway. There's my fueled snacks. should probably use those. I'm, okay, it's weird though because like I've told you in real life I'm like not like this at all. I'm like anti-hoarder. It's just in video games. I tend to be a hoarder. I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. Doo -doo. Look at oh, I'm I'm murdering babies right now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So the sad thing is, is that I really want to go back down into that mine. But here's the other thing: is that I know I need to make more money first because. Once I get 2,000 gold, then I can upgrade my backpack, and then it will actually make it worth it going down there because I won't just have like two open spaces in my um, backpack. Don't I collect something in real life? Shoes, sunglasses, caps. Um, not really, which is sad. I really like handbags but I'm not like I'm not like a collector in terms of like I don't think I've bought one in years <laughs> because like real life stuff you know but I don't know like when I was little I used to collect Barbies and I used to collect Beanie Babies I um yeah I don't really collect as much now but I have started kind of collecting like so this is like the nerdiest thing I'm going to share probably ever but my uh my sweet sweet grandmother she goes antiquing all the time and she um has started like buying these like really like pretty like teacups for me like all they're like kind of like um like sea glass colored and like see-through sparkly like all sorts of different ones so if I had to say that might be an emerging collection that I might have in the future but other than that no man that's it I know it's lame I 
I guess I should probably keep trying to get this uh, under control. Well, this is a forest. This is a forest farm. Which probably means I'm going to need to um, buy grass and plant it. Because when you cut that down, it's the best way to get the mixed seeds, which I just got one. Which are basically like free crops, which I could use. It's, got, it's like, yeah, it's different, but it's different. That's the thing. It's different. I like things that are different, you know. Of course, and she doesn't give me, like, boring ones. She knows, like, my style. So they're, like, ones that don't look like a normal teacup would look like. They're, like, sparkly or, like, neon colored or, like, see-through or, like, crazy. You know what I mean? Hopefully you know what I mean. Oh, no. I think I'm about to die. Look, guys. I haven't been paying attention to my energy, so this is what happens. I'm feeling sluggish from overexertion. So now I will slowly walk to my house. Maybe I'll make it, maybe I won't. But uh, I think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Poor girl, overworking. I'm overworking, are you guys? Gone to sleep for the evening. You are Van Rooker, of course. I knew that already. But, okay guys, um, I hate to do this, but I really wasn't even planning on streaming today anyways, but I just really wanted to say hello to all of you, plus I've been playing this new game, so I thought it's only fair that I should play it with you. However, my uh my food's being delivered so i must go <laughs> uh i hope all of you have a fantastic rest of your saturday night um if you haven't checked it out already i have been um uploading all of my live streams to a new youtube account um it's linked on my in my about me section um my youtube asmr is separate from that now but of course you should still follow both of them but anyways, thank you guys so much for um, hanging out with me tonight. Uh, Mr. Be Nice, Van Rooker, uh, Titan, I know, Mr. Cleaner, uh, Shimon was in there somewhere. Um, you guys have a fantastic evening, and um, I'll see you tomorrow um, during my stream. Have a great night, guys. Bye.